Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Edscape Games Presents, a let's play of Baldur's Gate 3, moving into episode 5. Coming right back into where we left off, within that kind of temple tomb area. Let's see what all we can find. Now, the system is still wanting us to go outside, but we found our way in here. Let's look around and see what we can find. Set of these tools. That looks interesting. Well, that would have been nice to know. Simple robe, scroll and a scroll. Try to follow our edges here so we don't get surprised by anything or miss anything. Rustic chest behind us. in there. No lock, no handle. How does it open? I found a door that's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. There's got to be something to it. Something over here allows us back out. Quick, quick exit. The unclaimed. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily, she did devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily, did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed... Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she did... When she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in front of her. No voice whispered instruction into her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going. And still, the goddess did not come for he, her devotee. Kelimvor pitied her, as much as the lord of dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the lady, of loss, unclaimed, despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That not of forgetting, but of being forgotten.
Oh, well, that's somewhat depressing. Sad for that lady. Chapel records. Fine dust coats the page of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Groban Tipler, Ilmater, drowning. Ivane Arkinson, Ogma, internal rot. Devrin's Stout, Saloon, Fever. Chest with some candles. Check that plaque. This text is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god? That might be worth a look. Found a lever. Hmm. What was that? No, well, that might be the door to the door that we missed. So we'll run on back there because that seems to be the only option. Didn't do anything. This wasn't built for the living. We've entered a dank crypt. Yeah, not work. No. Let's see what all we've got. using a dagger which is 1d4 but he could be using a repair which is 1d8 much more appropriate so it's our 1d6 short sword short sword I wonder if he is able to already do a Multi attack option. Nope, does not look like it. Get the thief's tools over to the thief. Candle? Nope. That is lovely. Alright. Scroll of silence, scroll of protection from evil and good, scroll of guiding bolts. On death and resurrection. An excerpt from an ongoing meta-text, rebound by 
Yosof Elgin, a scholar of excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value a life, far too esoteric to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouded, clouding our assessment, it is clear that across the spinning planes each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply not all are equally valuable. Consider. We already know that the discretion of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to the gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but a chance to retread it. Clerics across the realm wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components of such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort. And I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking, embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. certainly uh, ideas for them to <laughs> go do things. Hmm. When it's got hit points. It can be beaten. Yeah. But we'll come back to that after we handle other things. Now oh, it looks like both are that way. Light has gone away. Watch how you go. That's a trap. A dead language. Something ancient must have been worshipped here. Disarm toolkits are a different thing. Trap. Be cautious. Nice and slow through here since they won't trap us. Trap. So Be cautious.
We are just not getting the lockpicks. My Portia. Not quite what I was going for. Looks like that was the exit. So we would probably need to find some sort of lever or way out. Okay. Amethyst ring, ringmail armor. Through the broken doors. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Mm, dead bodies. That's a cleric. No. Zero of ten. Okay. This screams that they're going to get back up. But maybe if we take all their equipment beforehand. That'll make things easier. <laughs> Side exit, perhaps? Yeah. I'll probably take us out to that, uh, Locked a bit above. Juggle. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Wager that warrior is going to be a bit tough. Description is in a language unknown to you. Oh, I don't bet you don't have anything like comprehend languages. Is there a sort of option? Cleric. Both will keep. Oh, 
for good and evil. Silence. Burning hands. And animal friendship. It's got to be a sort of functionality. Yeah, we'll find that later. Dead gods. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive log. So we can arcana for search for an arcane rune to sabotage strength to smash the locker cleric wisdom channel a spark of divine power into the lock give the wisdom a try nope re-rolling gameplay tutorial use an inspiration point to redo a failed roll keep in mind that inspiration points are rare that is true The name of the dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken, the final three thoroughly enough to become completely illegible. Oh, that's going to be Bane, Merkel, and... Can't recall the last one. How do we get out of this? lovely. I wonder if we scoop for enough away. Nope. Well, we'll pause and come back to this momentarily. See you in a sec. Alright, so we've tried handling that book multiple times, but each time it keeps crashing, so we're going to skip on that for the moment. Seven gold, that's worth it. Everything that can't be non nailed down. Be wary, this place is trapped. Uh, 
and we'll give it a save real quick just in case this goes sideways. Totally. <laughs> Hells, something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. We'll check that out in a minute. For the moment, we're going to make sure that uh, they have to come to us. be blind once they get out of there. indeed. <laughs> so I'll put you in the back. Mage also in the back. quite as far as I wanted to go with that, but okay. Round when she comes back in. I uh, don't really want to move him out there just yet. She might take a little bit of brunt in with doing this, but we'll deal. They're straight up trying to murder her. Action, but that is okay. Let's not do that. It does take the full action for that. some health all around. Oh, 
and slash the creature, 1d4 plus 3. Or I put the tear on you. That's ah, better. nicely. <laughs> would be really nice if she stopped falling. And it should be more more than enough hit points. If we can get them back inside. Indeed. Eat 
this. Have her move out the way. Intended. Miss on a guiding bolt. Rude. Try turning a net on this one. Of course, the attack of Op makes it so that he's able to just begin again. Sarcophagus. And we'll continue with this in our next episode.